boy, with your cool design, you simply need to get in Tinkercad, create a new design, and when it launches, you need to choose Import, and you notice you can grab STLs, OBJs, or SVG files, and I want that SVG file I just created. There is Clover 2A, and I want to bring it in as just the art. Notice the difference. I don't want the whole piece of paper. I just want the art. And I'm going to keep the current dimensions. And instantly, we have got a groovy clover, which is great for St. Patty's Day. Now you can take that, and you can do whatever you want with it. I'm going to shrink it down to 2 millimeters. I'm going to grab the corners and shrink it down so it's nice and small. And I could turn it into an awesome keychain by simply grabbing the cylinder hole, making that critter down so it's about 5 by 5 pushing it through a little bit, and putting it in whatever corner I chose for my little keychain. Didn't really want to move that, so I'll do Control-Z, group them, and boom, I'm in Keychainville. I could cut out a phrase like Happy St. Patrick's Day just as easily by simply making my fancy dancy words, turning it into a hole, and pushing it in to our cool keychain. So, have fun, make something cool. You can push it all the way through, or one really smart thing is to only push it partially through, so that way you don't have to worry about uh, the little dangling pieces that would be cut off. So there you go. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I could add the rest of the words, but I'm not gonna. Just wanted to show you how easy it is to make any object out of an SVG in Tinkercad. Make sure you rename your file so you can find it later, and have a wonderful holiday.